Hi, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my kitchen. And today I'm going to show you an essential recipe that you have to master. It's a roast chicken. You know why? It's easy AF. Okay. So I really feel strongly about you knowing how to roast a chicken because it truly is one of the comfort foods, one of my favorite things. First of all, cooking it, smelling it, but then having a whole roasted chicken come out of the oven. It's a weeknight dinner, it's a weekend treat, it's an any time dish. Okay, so in this roasting pan, I have carrot, celery, and onion. Simple mirepoix. And then I have the chicken, I cut off the wings and I tucked them under, and what I'm gonna do is season it now. But I have some garlic and some lemon that I'm gonna put in the cavity. You can do this, you don't have to do it. I just love garlic and lemon with chicken, and it can all go inside the cavity or just some. You can use orange, you can use lime, you can use onions and lemon, whatever you want. I just like to put a little something in there to give it a perfume, okay? and that cooks and seasons it and plumps it up a little bit. Trick, put your salt and pepper together in a separate bowl to season so you're not double dipping with chicken hands, okay? And don't be afraid to really season. One of my favorite parts of roast chicken is the skin, the crispy skin. Now I've already seasoned the other side of the bird because it's underneath. And then all these vegetables in the pan, you can eat them. One other little trick, I'm gonna lift up, get your fingers in there, don't be afraid. There's a seam in between the chicken skin and the chicken breast, and I'm gonna tuck some butter in there. I've got some soft butter, and that's just gonna do a little bit of self-basting. It's gonna baste the chicken breast because it's not as juicy as the dark meat. So we're gonna give it a little extra butter, okay? The butter's in there. And then, mm, this bird is ready to go. I'm just gonna tie the legs together with a little butcher's twine. Just to keep everything tight, you don't have to do anything fancy. If you know how to tie a knot, then you can tie this chicken together. <laughs> just get those legs either crossed or just together so that all the juices of the chicken stay in. And that's it. We're going to go inside of a 425 degree oven for one hour. Leave it alone. Okay, look at that bird. She is ready, rested, and good to go. That was 425, 450 for an hour. Check it, turn it, but really that's all you have to do. I'm going to cut off the twine and I'm going to get in there. Oh, look at those juices. It's so simple. And honestly, this can be turned into chicken salad, chicken tacos, chicken enchilada, chicken pasta. Make a couple of chickens and eat them all week long. That juicy leg, I can smell that garlic and lemon. And you know why, because it's easy AF. Mm. Ha, 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 ha.